Hi there, I'm Lori Jenkins. Thanks for watching my video update this week. I want to talk to you just about one topic this week. It's something that I've been working on for the last couple of years and I'm really proud uh, that the House has moved this bill off the floor and it's on to the Senate where hopefully it will get a hearing. It's paid and sick paid sick and safe leave. So right now, most people don't realize this, but there are a million workers in Washington state who don't get paid time off when they or a family member is sick. And so you'd have to think about the fact that, that many of these workers have to make a decision when their child is sick, for example, should I stay home with my sick child and give up the money that I'm gonna earn that maybe puts food on the table at the end of the week. That's not a choice that I think we want anyone to have to make. We should be providing every worker in this state some minimal level of sick leave, and that's what the bill does. In addition, we also know that women who are victims of domestic violence frequently can't take leave from work or they don't have any paid time to go get a protection order to help uh, them protect themselves or their kids uh, when they are being victimized. So the bill would also allow for that. Finally, you all know, I think, what a huge public health advocate I am. That's my job in my other life when I'm not here in the legislature. We also know that about 80% of the norovirus that's transmitted in this country, and norovirus, let me tell you, is a flu no one wants to have, it's transmitted by sick restaurant workers. We don't want people coming to work sick and making other people sick. Uh, and so this bill is an attempt to address that. I think the other great thing about the bill is that it's very nuanced and it doesn't provide huge levels of leave so that small businesses aren't hugely impacted, but they can make sure that they're providing their workers with the things they need to be highly productive and to protect the public. So I hope you'll join me in supporting a passage of the Safe and Sick Leave Bill and I'll keep you updated about how it moves along during the rest of the session. Thanks a lot.